Well, welcome to the Honky Tonk with Travel Life by JJ. I just finished my first set and whew, I am thirsty. So I'm going to sit down and have a cocktail with you all and enjoy the rest of the evening. And we are in Nashville, Tennessee tonight. And thank you so much for joining us this evening on Memorial Day weekend during our staycation which I know everybody is starting to get antsy and break out of that staycation mode. I know I was out and about today getting some grocery items to grill out on the barbecue for this weekend and also making a quick stop to the liquor store which was packed and they weren't even open and the line was long. So everybody is gearing up for a fun-filled weekend. I hope your weather is just as beautiful as ours here. We're having a wonderful, it was in the 80s today. And so enjoy your weekend. And if you catch this later, you know, thank you so much for uh, previewing it and joining in at a later date as well. So I wanted to just touch base about travel. Had some exciting news this week that I wanted to share. Last week we talked about going to South Carolina, to Charleston, because Eric and I have been trying to decide whether we wanted to go to Charleston, South Carolina, or Nashville, Tennessee, as maybe one of the first places we go for our travel. And so it's been a toss up, and I've been trying to figure out which one. But we had some exciting news this week. We are going to talk about the Belmont Hotel. B-E-L-M-O-N-D, Belmond Hotel. They have a hotel, their five-star luxury, which I'm affiliated with them. And they are all around the world. They also have rail as well. But they have a hotel in uh, Charleston, South Carolina, as well as Santa Barbara, California. So those are two locations here in the States. And then, like I said, they're all over the world as well. But the, my exciting news was that I became an affiliate member of their Bellini Club, which is only available to travel advisors. So if you're just joining in, it's Julie at Travel Light by JJ, and we're having a honky-tonk happy hour this evening. Thanks for joining me on the holiday weekend. Megan, Megan. Hi, Megan. How are you? Welcome. Happy holiday weekend. We're here in Nashville, Tennessee tonight is where we're having our honky-tonk happy hour. And I just finished a set of music, so unfortunately you missed out there. Um, and, and it was a good one. And uh, now we're going to get into making appetizers and cocktails. We're having the salty dog with saddle leather tonight. Never had it. So that's uh, my first one. And then tonight for our travel trivia, we have a guest appearance that will be doing our travel trivia. But I was talking about the Belmont Hotel and that I just got exciting news this week that I'm going to be part of the Bellini Club, which is only available to travel advisors, allowing us to give our clients perks uh, for travel when they stay at the Belmont Hotel. The Belmont Hotel does not have any type of rewards club for just travelers, consumers. So any way to get the additional perks and upgrades are gonna be through a travel advisor. And they have one in Charleston, South Carolina, which we talked about last week. And Eric and I are deciding whether we're going there or Nashville, Tennessee. So I think right now, I don't know, it's a toss up. It's hard for me because I love music. I've never been a big country fan. I am a fan of all music, but I've never been a diehard country fan and Eric's family is. So I have listened to it because of Eric, but I do have some of my favorites, like Johnny Cash is an all-time favorite of mine. Folsom Prism is one of my top, top favorite songs that I love. And I probably would say I enjoy some of the older classic artists, uh, Reba McIntyre and others that are older versus the new poppy ones. Um, however, I do, I do like some of those, but I, I find it humorous because some of the older songs, you know, they were so sad and they're like love stories or they're just sad stories where, you know, the dog leaves and, and runs off and the, the wife leaves. And I heard a comedian say, you know, if you want a happy country song, you just play it backwards and, and the wife comes home and the dog comes home. So I thought that was rather interesting. You know, get out some old records if anybody has a record player still and see, see if that woman comes home and that dog comes home. So anyway, tonight we're going to be making a salty dog cocktail, uh, which you can have with gin or vodka and saddle leather, which is beef jerky. And I haven't had that in a while and I had some today and it's delicious. So I wanted to just talk about my services. I create effortless luxury 
itineraries for inspired lifestyles of busy professionals, active aging travelers and groups. And so I love to curate fun itineraries and put on the special excursions or um, tours, things like going on, going to a distillery or going and doing a walking tour or a biking tour or adding anything and going in honky tonk. You can go off to uh, Memphis for the day to Graceland and do that. It's a, a three hour drive if you self drive or you have tours that will take you over for a day trip and do all of Memphis in it's a 15 hour day. So that's some ideas uh, for that trip as well. We're going to start off tonight with our travel trivia and we're going to bring our special guest over and maybe you might know him. I'm not sure. Come on down. Thank you. Thank you very much. How thank, are you there, sir? I'm wonderful. Thank you for coming to my one of my home and favorite towns. Why, well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Looking forward to a good I night. I loved your performance. You were really hot on the stage there. Woo! Yeah. I know. It's smoking hot. It's in the 80s here. <laughs> I'm all, all heated up. So I, I heard you want me to tell a little trivia. A little trivia, and I'll, I'll set the ground rules. So we do travel trivia. And uh, this gentleman here is going to read off two questions, and he'll repeat it twice. And then whoever gets it right and in the fastest uh, will tally that up tomorrow and announce the winner tomorrow. And at the end, we have a tiebreaker uh, question in case there's any tie that needs to be broken. So last week, it was heated back and forth between Celeste and Shannon. And uh, Celeste, unfortunately, beat out by typing faster than Shannon. So she, uh, she was the winner two weeks in a row. So start us off there, sir. Yeah, I sure will. True or false, Memphis is not the pork barbecue capital of the world. True or false, Memphis is not the pork barbecue capital of the world. Number two, some people refer to me as the king. Who am I? Blah, blah. Did you say it twice? I didn't say it. Ah! Oh, I'll come on. He got so excited. He just thinks he's so darn popular. Nobody needed to hear it again. I love looking in the mirror, and that's where I was heading. Oh! All right, let's see. Some people refer to me as the king. Who am I? But there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So let's get making those salty dogs. So, like I said, you can either use gin or vodka. And they suggest to use pink sea salt. So I had some of that and ground it up today. So I've got that here. And I'm just going to cut some lime to go ahead and be able to salt the rim of our glasses. And you want to get, get some ice out. The portion that they gave me was like to make for a big party, uh, uh, like a batch of like six drinks. So I, I cut that in half. So I've got... Get your lime juice on your rim, get your salt, has anybody been to uh, Nashville and if you have, did you have a good time? Met lots of people like to go for like a girls getaway weekend. They've got a lot going on there with museums and all sorts of good stuff. All right, get your ice. Fill those glasses. What kind of cocktails are you having for the holiday? Let me know, type them in. I wanna hear from you. And if you've been to Charleston versus Nashville and you have an opinion which one you'd start with, let me know that as well. So I'm doing vodka tonight. And so I'm doing three ounces, three shots of vodka. Is anybody going to be barbecuing this weekend? We stocked up with all sorts of meats today. All right, so I got my three shots. And then also, you're going to want to do um, one and a quarter cup of grapefruit juice. And again, this is uh, for three ounces. 
So if you want to make a batch, just double it. I'm doing a cup and a quarter. I haven't had grapefruit juice in a while, so I was pretty excited to, to have it, something different and fresh. And then doing a quarter cup as well. So get that going. And then shake it up real good. Do a little dance, do a line dance. Shake it up, baby, shake it up. There we go. What are you drinking tonight, Megan? Woo! Mm -mm -mm. Salty dog with the saddle leather, which is your beef jerky. So I got that. All right, Eric, I'll give you, I'll give you, Eric's getting the big, big beef jerky. Here you go, bud. Elvis is mm. in the house. Give him a little burning love for that one. Here you go, baby. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers, everybody. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Mmm. 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 Scrumptious. Oh, that's good stuff. Thank you. All right, Mr. King, let's do some more trivia. Four, get three, ready. Three. Get ready to type real fast. All right. Family trivia time. Round two Round trivia. Round two. What, what was my daughter's name? Or what is my daughter's name? <laughs> I'm still alive, you know. Some people think I disappeared in 77, but no. I'm here in virtual Nashville, Hills of Vermont. What is my daughter's name? Number two. Who sung the lyrics? I'm going to Graceland, Graceland, Memphis, Tennessee. I'm going to Graceland, poor boys and pilgrims with families. Gotta do it again. All right. Who sung the lyrics? I'm going to Graceland, Graceland, Memphis, Tennessee. I'm going to Graceland, <laughs> poor boys and pilgrims with families. Thank you. Thank you very much, King. You're welcome. So hopefully you're getting those answers correct. And I want to talk about Memphis just a little bit. Like I said, it's three hours from Nashville. So if you wanted to do a trip where you combine the two, that might be an idea to do both. And you could do a day trip, a long day trip, from Nashville if you just wanted to do that as well. But you have Memphis is known for its barbecue. It's known for its soul, its blues, its rock and roll. B.B. King and Johnny Cash and Elvis uh, were all big names there that used to record there at Sun City Studios. So you can also do a tour of Sun City Studios. They have a lively downtown with bars and restaurants. And as far as going and touring at Graceland, you can tour just the mansion itself, which is owned 100% by his daughter. And you can do that. And that takes about an hour and a half. He also, there's a tour that you can tour additional add-on uh, cars and a uh, car museum and plane museum as well. And then they have the gardens, which are beautiful. And Elvis is actually buried there now. He was buried at Forest Hill Cemetery in Memphis next to his mother. But you had some grave robbers that were unsuccessful. So they had to move his body to Graceland where it would be uh, with security. So that is where he is. And he moved, uh, Elvis moved to Graceland and established his home in 1948 from, from uh, Tupelo, Mississippi. And so he was there from 1957 till he died 1977. And actually, when you tour the house, the second floor is not open because he died in the bathroom up there, supposedly on the loo. So that was unfortunate for him. Um, but everybody's got to die somehow, somewhere, somehow, some way, right? So anyway, I just hope that's not the way I go out. But that is how they said he went out. And But he is uh, the king of rock and roll as we know it. And we've been enjoying listening to him lately and having a lot of fun with that. So now we're going to get into making our appetizer, which are cauliflower buffalo bites this evening. And I'm just going to move this out of the way. You want to get olive oil, 
uh, garlic powder. <laughs> Board fell off the table. <laughs> so we've got olive oil, we've got uh, garlic powder, and we've got uh, pepper and salt. That's what you'll need to make the buffalo cauliflower bites. And you want to get one large head of cauliflower and cut it up into small florets, which I already did, so I've already prepped that. And then you want to have two tablespoons of your olive oil and one teaspoon of garlic powder, a one teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of pepper. So you put that all in a bowl and you mix it up real good and get that going. And then you want to just pour that over your cauliflower, which I had already chopped up here. So you just add that. Mr. Elvis, would you take this, please? Certainly. Thank you. And then you want to toss that all around in the bowl, get that all mixed up real well. You want to set the oven at 450 degrees. And then you want to take a cookie sheet and line it with parchment paper and then put the um, cauliflower on the parchment paper and cook it for 15 minutes. And then once it comes out, you want to mix it in a buffalo sauce. And the buffalo sauce is two tablespoons of unsalted butter that's melted. You want a tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice and a quarter cup of the Frank's Red hot original sauce and that's actually kind of a sweet and tangy um, it's not as spicy if you want it spicier instead of you using uh, Frank's red hot you could use Tabasco sauce to make it spicier but that is what I suggest to use so you mix that all together and you once the cauliflower comes out you put it on there and then you want to go ahead bring that over Mr. Elvis Here you go, my hunk of hunk of burn love. Why, thank you, darling. Oh, you're taking it from me? Yeah. Oh, thank so you. this is what it would look like after it comes out of the oven. And you garnish it with parsley and also blue cheese. You can put crumbled blue cheese on there. And then do blue cheese here. And you have that with the uh, parsley. And then I also like to do it with the celery sticks so that it is nice and cool. And if you want to do carrots, you can do that as well. And you can do that and have that as a um, toothpick, as an appetizer. And it is delicious. All right, let's try some more travel trivia. Everybody, how's your cocktails? I'm going to try another swig of this. It's delicious. Mom, delicious. Mm. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I like that. My drink was fabulous. Mm. All right, we're in round three. Into Middle Tennessee, what is the name of country music show in Nashville that continually hosts many of yesterday's and today's hottest country stars? Type that, right? Yep, gotta read it again. Read again. In Middle Tennessee, what is the name of the, the country music show in Nashville that continually hosts many of yesterday's and today's hottest country stars? Ball, ball. All right. Next question. Which famous country star has a museum in Nashville? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Which famous country star has a museum in Nashville? Woohoo! Ba ba So I have a funny story about Nashville. I had a friend of mine who when I got in the business of being a travel advisor I said, why would you ever want to be a travel advisor? Who would ever be a travel advisor? And he just couldn't understand why I would be a travel advisor because in his opinion, everybody just books online today and what would you need a travel advisor for? So lo and behold, I get a phone call on a Tuesday and he's eating his words and says to me, I know you, you, you know, you're a travel advisor. He said, and I know, you know, I said to you, who would ever contact a travel advisor? And he goes, and now I am here calling you, contacting you to help me. And I said, okay, no problem. I said, what do you want to do? And he said, well, he's like, my wife's birthday is this coming weekend, and this is Tuesday. 
He said, it's this coming weekend, and it's her 60th, and I want to take her to Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm overwhelmed with the internet, and I can't figure anything out, and it's too much for me, and I need your help because I don't know what I'm doing. I said, sure, no problem. And so I went to work on it and come to find out his wife also had some uh, issues with names on her identification uh, from getting married and not getting things changed over in a timely manner or something like that. So we're at the last minute and uh, trying to get her ID all situated for which I helped get through that struggle and everything. So we did have to let her in on the fact that she was going away, but we did not ruin the surprise as to where she was going. So I set them up for a weekend and got them into a boutique, uh, really wonderful uh, hotel. Very uh, small and intimate and lots of fun and pep. Has a pool on the rooftop and they actually even took a bus when they were opening and put dropped a bus with a crane up on the rooftop for a lounge and everything. And they had a blast. They made friends with everybody on the pool deck and they were right in walking distance of Broadway, which is the street where all the bars and restaurants are. That, not to be confused with Music Row. That's where the recording studios are and things like that. So if you're going there, you don't, you don't want to be on Music Row. You want to be near Broadway Street, which I can help you with that. So anyway, they, and, and that's where I probably stay is where I put them up is because it was so fun and the interior decorating was just lots of fun and very authentic to the area so they went and like i said they made friends that he said we made friends that we'll have for a lifetime now and he's like it's just so much fun and you get music seven days a week and there's no cover charge so you just walk up to any place you want and walk right in and enjoy it and if you're not enjoying that type of music you go on to the next one there's lots of places to go and there's lots of things to do there as far as um, you have the Ryman Auditorium, which is where the old, uh, the Grand Old Opry used to be. And uh, so you also have the, you still have people that like Blake Shelton that perform there. So there still is p performers performing there, but you also have the Grand Old Opry in a different location now. And you have the Parthenon, which is actually the Athens of the South. Nashville's considered the Athens uh, that you have in Greece with the Parthenon. They built an, a replica in Nashville. So that's cool that you can go see that and not have to go all the way just necessarily to Greece to see that. You also have, uh, mu like I said, Music Row. You have the Jack Daniels Distillery that you can go on a tour there. You have the Johnny Cash Museum there. And you have all sorts of different places. You have Tootsie's Orchid Lounge, which is a famous you know, place to go on uh, Honky Tonk Row there. You have the Hermitage, which is the President Andrew Jackson's home. So there's lots of museums and different things to do while in Nashville. You don't run out of uh, anything uh, as far as activities. It's chock full of activities. So that's what I want to report to you about Nashville and let you know that it is a fun place. And like I said, Eric and I are torn between Charleston, South Carolina, and Nashville. And I have a friend, Eric and I have a friend, um, friends that live just outside of Nashville and Franklin. So uh, might be leaning there first, not sure. So that's our thoughts. We're going to do one last round of travel trivia. And then we're going to sign off for the night. Thanks so much for joining us. Cheers again to you all. And toast, having a good one. Yeah. Come on, King. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Come and do some trivia. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Come and do the trivia. Here we go. Round four. The capital of Tennessee is Nashville. What is the nickname given to the city of Nashville, which relates to the industry popular in that area? What is the name given to the city of Nashville, which relates to the industry popular? Popular in that area. Ain't nothing but a hell of a <laughs> <laughs> What country singer is Dollywood named after? This is an easy one. It, it has long been Tennessee's most popular ticketed attraction, luring more than 3 million visitors per year. They're lining up at the door right now, darling. What country singer is Dollywood named after? It's been Tennessee's most popular ticketed attraction. Lowering more than 3 million visitors a year. Woo! We doing a bonus? 
We're doing the bonus and we're going to do the answers. All right. Bonus right away? Bonus right away. All right, here we Get go. Get your fingers ready. All right, this isn't the bonus, but I got to say, you know, I don't know what they're talking about me when I was growing up because the kids nowadays are really crazy. Everything they do, all I did was jiggle them. All right. Tiebreaker. Name two songs sung by me, Elsbeth Presley, the king of rock and roll. Tiebreaker. Name two songs sung by me, Elvis Presley, in case you didn't know, the king of rock and roll. And we'll fact check these. So put in two songs. We're gonna Elvis. We're gonna do um, the answers as well. All the answers right now. Yes, please. All right. Let me do wet my whistle. Okay. <laughs> Did you try the beef jerky? Beef jerky is so delicious. Mm mm mm. Hopefully it doesn't add to my cholesterol problem. <laughs> <laughs> I I hate that Lou thing. Anyways, true or false? Memphis is not. Not emphasized. Mem Memphis is not the pork barbecue capital of the world. The answer is false. Memphis is the pork barbecue capital of the world, thanks to Memphis in May's championship barbecue cooking contest with more than 100 barbecue special specialty restaurants. So I'm going there for some barbecue. I know. It's all about barbecue. This weekend's all about barbecue. All right. Answer then question. A uh, question. Some people refer to me as the king. Who am I? The king, Elvis Presley. Next question. What is my daughter's name? Lisa Marie Presley. Next question. Who sung the lyrics? I'm going to Graceland, Graceland, Memphis, Tennessee. I'm going to Graceland for boys and pilgrims and families. We'll give them a singing lesson afterwards because that's not really how that's sung, but go ahead. It's close. Yeah, uh-huh. Paul Simon. I saw a right <laughs> answer in there. Uh, it gets hot underneath this thing. All right. Unto, uh, into uh, Middle Tennessee, what is the name of the country music show in Nashville that continually hosts many of yesterday's and today's hottest country stars? The Grand Ole Opry. Woo! Which famous country star has a museum in Nashville? I saw a correct answer for this. My favorite, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. The capital of Tennessee is Nashville. What is the nickname given to the city of Nashville, which relates to the industry popular in that area? Music City. There you have it. What country singer is Dollywood named after? It has long been Tennessee's most popular ticketed attraction, luring more than 3 million visitors per year. That's one of my favorites, Dolly Parton. Tiebreaker was, name two songs sung by me, Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. There's many out there, but I like Jailhouse Rock. And I like a little less conversation in the least about them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Elvis. You're my hero, baby. That pink Cadillac, I want to ride in it later. <laughs> it was a 19, he bought it in 1955, it was a 1954 pink Cadillac. However, it did not make it. There was a fire in, um, on the road when they were traveling, so that car is not in the car museum. Um, so that's unfortunate. But I want to thank everybody to come out on the holiday weekend. Have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. My name is Julie Johnston with Travel Light by JJ. And if you want to visit my website, it's travellightbyjj.com. And I also, you can go on there and sign up for my newsletter, which I send out every other week about travel and tips and things that are happening around uh, the world and locally. My specialty areas are Europe, Mexico, and the Caribbean, but I've traveled everywhere thanks to my parents. And so I have a passion for travel and love to share that with you all. So thank you very much and have a good evening and be safe and be healthy. Bye-bye.